Hey everybody, I'm so excited that the new Clara Markova book is here. It's called Tenderful Enchantments. I have been playing around with it for a couple of days. I just absolutely love it. It is just, just gorgeous. Um, the foil and the color of the book, I don't know if you can see it. It is just absolutely stunning. Um, I'm just going to do a quick flip through of it so you guys can um, take a look at it. I know it's on Amazon now, but I purchased it straight from um, her. So let's start flipping. This is the nameplate page. Look at this little fairy down here. Isn't she cute? the shoes and the purse we got that hummingbird again in this book and I love how she does the backs of her pages because when I'm coloring in her books when I'm testing a color I use this page to test what I'm gonna do over here see how it looks see if I like it I absolutely love how she did this shell and she's got the candle in it for the lighting it's so creative and adorable and I just love this book cute little owl in the tree Ooh, he's playing the tabs are just for me I just know which page I want to do next adorable Look the little duck he's riding a little dog oh my god he's so cute He's in a teacup. I mean, how adorable is that? Oh my gosh, this is just, every page is just so wonderful. Got a little mushroom cafe out here. Oh, I love it. A little cupcake. Cute little bunnies. There's a lot of keys hidden in this book I found. I love this little house. Her little face. Can you see her face? Oh, it's adorable. I wish I knew what these little berries were that are all over. I'm not sure. If anybody knows, put it down in the comments. I don't know what they are. They're everywhere in her books. And this one is the first one that I started. I have not finished. It's a work in progress. This is the double page spread in the middle of the book. I love how it's coming out. This is one of the ones that has the door in the back. And you cut it out. And then you can glue, put, cut a little slit and glue it into here and it will open up. I love it. I will challenge myself to do a double page spread and I really, really love how this is coming out. And as I'm going along, I've been testing my colors on her um, bookmark. And she's got the two books on the back. So, yeah. We got some squirrels. We got the little lovebirds over here. This is the little fairy from the back of the book. She has just outdone herself with this. This was the page I almost colored first because I just love this little frog looking at me. <laughs> it's adorable with a little mermaid. Really, really cute. I like this one too, the seahorse. This is a good page too. I like the underwater stuff. And she's sleeping with the jellyfishes. <laughs> I love, love, love this page. That's from the cover. Just beautiful. We 
we go with another double page spread. So, oh, so pretty. There's a lot going on here. She's reading the book. This creature's sleeping. There's the window to the outside. Looks like some berry wine happening here. Got a big cake. The little mice family sleeping. Got a little cheese. He's got his belly full. Oh, I just noticed the little laundry hanging out. How cute is that? This is neat and I like it, but I, it's very strange. Is it tomatoes growing out of her head? Is it oranges? I'm not positive, but it's adorable. The little bed. So cute. Oh, this has got to be figs. This is a fig tree for sure. Laundry again, a little basket. That is so cute. I've seen this one colored a lot already. This one I've seen several times, uh, like a haunted house style. Um, there are a few of them that I put on my Pinterest board. Um, I'll link my Pinterest board down at the bottom if you want to follow it. But some people have made this, uh, I wish I knew her name. She did the coolest effect and made this a haunted house. Um, it, it was just amazing. If I could find it, I'll put it down in the, um, the comment, I mean in the box also. But it's just going to be so cute when it's all colored in. This must be a fortune teller's home. She's sleeping on a little clock. Look at the cherry house. Adorable. So cute. I love this. I've seen this colored a bunch too. Halloween's coming up and everybody's coloring the pumpkins and the bat. So cute. See, keys are everywhere. Love the little mushrooms in the jar up here. She's got her little crochet out and she's sewing. Beautiful flowers. lot of stuff going on in his little jars. So you can tell when a double page spread is coming up. Wow. The paper quality is so smooth and just so amazing. It's just like a little snowman. Sitting by his fire. Look at the little mailbox. Snow. I love the little three story house. And the end here um, it says color on here. I think that this page is for. Um, color combinations possibly it doesn't really say but he's holding crayons and sitting on a paint tube I believe you can put your color combinations or just practice on this page which is really a good idea and then this is those two I was telling you about that you cut out in the back um, has this little design on it cut them out put them where the doors are um, I just absolutely am in love with this book. I'll be coloring in this for a while. If you want to look at some of my um, pages that I have finished on Instagram as I go along, I'll link my Instagram down at the bottom also. Um, if you have any questions or comments about this book, please leave them down and uh, I will get back to you as soon as I can. I would love it if you would like and subscribe. 
Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.